We are once again in Adobe InDesign and this is part 9 of the video series in lesson 4, Working with Objects. We are working on a four-page newsletter and we are about to complete the newsletter in this session. So now let's hop into our next. The main goal for this lesson is to align and scale multiple objects, select and modify group objects, as well as create QR code. So let's begin. Uh, we'll align multiple objects in this step and with the help of the align panel, accurate alignments are placed. So let's go ahead and use this feature. We'll choose page two from the page box down here. Now we'll go to the window menu, then select object and layout, and then align to open the align panel. And here we are in the Align panel. It's active and we can make modifications here. Now let's take a look. So we'll choose Align Horizontal Center from the Align Objects. And in the Align 2, we'll choose Align to Page. So after that, we can deselect all and we'll scroll down to locate this icon so at the side of that page we have these icons here now we'll select all of these seven icons by using the shift click command in the align panel go to the align to menu then select align to key object notice that the first ob graphics frame that we selected has a thick blue border, the one that's in circle. Now we'll click the Align Right Edges button and the icon alignment is quite obvious now. So they're, in, they're aligned now. Now we choose to deselect all and we can save what we have done so far. In the next step, we are going to scale multiple objects now let's zoom in and select these two PDF icons here with the selection tool. As you notice, they are quite uh, icons are quite bigger than the AI icon, so we need to align them. So let's press Command plus Shift key for Mac or Control Shift key for Windows, then click both icons. So in that way, it will select both icons and now the three icons are aligned. So we'll deselect and save this step again. Now we are going to select and modify group objects. So go ahead, select the Evolve logo with the selection tool. And we'll click the select content button from the control panel as I have encircled there that's the select content button and once we click that only this text is selected after we click the select and button so now we'll click the select previous button until letter E is selected so we need to press several times it could be about five or six times just Make sure we select letter E, the first letter. And next, with the use of the direct selection tool and pressing the shift key again, we'll click to select letters V, L, V, and letter E as seen in the workspace. So we're selecting the letters except letter O. Now we'll go to the window menu, then select color and then swatches. And in the swatches panel, we'll choose paper or colored white. And that's the result. Now the letters that we selected turn to white. So letters E, V, L, V, and E are now changed to white as what we have selected from the swatches panel. Okay, this time I believe we have familiar with QR codes and we're making one in this lesson. So we'll choose object menu 
and there we can see generate QR code. In the generate QR code dialog box, we'll choose web hyperlink. There's actually about five choices there. So there's plain text, text message, email, and business card. We'll just choose web hyperlink. And in the URL box, we'll type the Adobe link. Or if we wanted to add our own link, we'll just make sure that the complete URL for any website is typed. Then we can click the OK button. So then we'll place the QR code in our document here. I have put an encircled and arrow. Now we're finishing up and we'll take a preview of our newsletter. So we are about to complete our newsletter. Let's see the result. So let's go to view menu, screen mode, and presentation. And this is now the complete view of our newsletter. In here, we can see pages 4 and 1. And here, this is the second and third pages. So to go back, we'll just press the tab key to toggle the panels back and forth. Now we have completed our newsletter. And I hope that we learned all the techniques in working with objects. Thank you.